everybody's heard about the 10,000 hour rule where you've achieved full mastery when you've hit 10,000 hours of work grinding hard into your craft. But have you heard of the your full existence rule? Cause yo, if you learn from somebody who's been doing it as long as you have been alive, 25 years, that's how old I am, 25 years. That's how long Focus has been rocking his footwork. So without further ado, let's learn from the myth, the legend, B-Boy Focus. The top five underrated footwork steps and concepts. This is the stuff that's gonna make your footwork interesting and take it to another level. The missing link, the secret ingredient. Let's go. Welcome to the Knowledge Drop. This is Pose of the Flow Mo Crew, bboydojo.com and Cypher Studio. Today we join forces with Magnus Magneto, b-boy from Vancouver, Canada, who's been rocking free tutorials and free content for years. So it's only right to join forces and do another Knowledge Drop collaboration with him. So if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel as well. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two. So what is the Knowledge Drop? Knowledge Drop is my talk show where I pass on the knowledge, the concept, concepts, the philosophy and the ideas behind breaking and the history that I've learned during my 25 years of breaking. So today, we look for the secret ingredient that takes your footwork to a grandmaster level, makes your footwork really stand out and become versatile, and gets you proud from the people rocking that cypher with you. And I think I got the answers. The top five underrated footwork steps and concepts by bboydojo.com. So let's go. Number one is shuffles. People spend a ridiculous time going in circles, circles, circles when it comes to footwork but there's only a few who can stop, go back and forth and make it look nasty. Understanding shuffles opens up a whole new universe of variations, so you won't run out of moves when your opponent does. Shuffles are great for small circles as well, when you don't have space to go around, but you still got directions and paths that you can use when other people can't. And there's so much more to learn shuffles than just the basic CCs or switches, which by themselves already are a great source of variations. But master your front shuffles, back shuffles, side shuffles, and all of the above. Study people who have taken shuffles to another level. The greats, such as Crazy Legs, study Casper, study Flowmaster, and you don't, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Number two is the four steps. And I say it in plural because there's not one way of doing the four step correctly. There's a million ways of rocking the four step. What's beautiful about a four step is that it connects so well with the music. You rock in a basic break beat, you rock all of the hi-hats with your four steps and it's perfect when it comes together with the beat. That's harder to do with a six step, a five step or a three step. It's possible, but it's not that, not that um, natural. If you think there's only one way of doing the four step correctly, then you are a victim of, of marketing. It's done for marketing purpose because that's when it's easier to teach and easier for the students to understand. But as a master of your game that you are about to come, you need to open up your mind and be open to possibilities to explore. So study the way that Ken Swift does his four step in Wild Style already. Study the way that Storm does his four step in a completely different way a little bit later and get back to the lab and create your own. Number three, the extended footwork. Wow, this could be a whole lesson of itself, but in short, Extended style footwork is when you take your circle of your footwork and make it bigger. This adds a whole new level of power and explosiveness into your footwork. It's like spicing your footwork up with some rage and fire and fury and, and thunder. But for this style of footwork as well, there's only a handful of people who have mastered it. So study Icy Ice, study Alienness, study Maurizio, the next one from Italy, and you know what I'm talking about. Number four is varying speed in your footwork. 99% of people hit the floor, rock their drop, and go as fast as possible. But that's really not what it's about. If you always try to go faster than is natural to you, you're always going to look stressed and tense. So chill out, learn to take your time. If you don't know how to stop in your footwork, then you haven't learned a thing yet. So take your time, slow down with your footwork as well. Add variety to your speed. Going fast can hide your mistakes, but slowing down exposes your perfect technique and adds more flavor and variety to your footwork. Moving on to five, and that's original concepts. There's two paths of learning footwork and breaking in general. You learn your foundation, you drill it, you master it, 
But on the other hand, you have to add your own fingerprint and take it to another level. You flip it. Both ways are important and they have to go hand in hand. A lot of people choose either one. They only do stuff that's done in the past by other people or they only do weird shit, forgetting the foundation. But a true master takes both of these and puts them together and spends an equal amount of time of being creative and expressing his way of rocking the rhythms. And that, my friends, is how you make your footwork unforgettable. Now take all of these five and work on them in your next week's practice. One per session, that means five sessions next week. And I guarantee you, you're gonna get some fast results. Shout out to Magnus Magneto for the chance to rock the knowledge drop on your channel. Now next up, go to bboydojo.com and take your dance to another level with the free archive of knowledge that's out there. More stuff coming out every single week. This is Focus of the Flow Mode Crew signing out. See you on the next one, y'all. Peace.